to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop. On Monday, we begin Horror Mania 2. And I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. I watched a horror movie last night on the Skinamax. Yeah, too bad they didn't have Michelle Maylene in it like all the other movies on Skinamax, but uh, this is the 2010 horror sequel, Hatchet 2. Hatchet 2 sees a girl who escapes the wrath of Victor Crawley, who is the... Ha horror man, villain, monster, whatever you want to call him, killer from the first film, <laughs> and uh, she returns to the swamp, it's the next day this takes place, uh, with hunters and gunmen in order to seek revenge and also to end his reign of horror forever. She hopes to. Anyway, Danielle Harris from, of course, the Halloween movies, what did I just review in, Blood Night? Yeah. Uh, she plays Mary Beth, who is the main character in the film. She's the one who survives the first one. Tony Todd, who you'll know from the Final Destination films, plays Reverend Zombie, who is a man who thinks he may know the key to putting away Victor Crawley forever. Kane Hodder, who's played Jason in the past in, G in certain Friday the 13th films, plays Victor Crawley himself, the monster, and also his father, Thomas Crawley in the flashback parts of the film. Perry Shen plays Justin, who's a scared man who pisses his pants in the film. Yeah, uh, that would be me <laughs> if I was there. Tom Holland plays Bob, who is the uncle of Mary Beth. R.A. Millahoff plays Trent, one of the hunters. A.J. Bowen plays Layton, another one of the gunmen. Alexis Peters show is a gun woman who shows her boobies. She plays Avery. Ed Ackerman plays Cletus, about as hillbilly as that name gets. And David Foy plays Chad. So, what did I think of Hatchet 2? Is it a new horror movie classic? Or would I rather be hit in the nuts with a hatchet than have to watch it again? I thought Hatchet 2 is a pretty entertaining horror sequel. Uh, horror sequels usually aren't my thing, because they kind of suck. Usually, at least. Uh, but I had a good time watching Hatchet 2. Uh, the film is very gory and very violent. So this is not a movie to watch at your uh, aunt who may be a nun's house or something. You know, oh, let's pop in Hatchet 2. It's going to be a good time, Grandma. Yeah, no. Not, not a good idea. Uh, <laughs> yes, you've been warned. Is there a, a scare factor here? Well, I definitely will admit to jumping a couple times. Yeah, I know I'm a pansy. But, uh, you know, there's, a, there's definitely, you know, it might make you jump a couple times. Uh, it's not just scary, though. Hatchet 2 also has a very good sense of humor. It has some comedy to it. I, I was cracking up so bad at the, what was it? Chicken and biscuits, biscuits and gravy, whatever the hell that guy was singing about. I'm like... <laughs> really? <laughs> but I was cracking up the whole time. Uh, and also, there's some parts I'm not sure if I was supposed to be laughing at, but just some of the kills just made me laugh hysterically. Uh, especially the last one, my god. There's a bunch of holy shit moments and a bunch of WTF moments as well, mostly when uh, Crawley finds his prey. Yeah, um, look out for that. It's very interesting. Just when I thought I saw everything in a horror movie, I turned on Hatchet 2, and yeah, there was stuff I hadn't seen before. Yeah, uh, while it, the story may not exactly be original, uh, you know, even to the point where they say, like Jason Voorhees in the script, I give them credit for making it somewhat original and not a total ripoff. Or a reboot, you know? God, they could have worked all their money into a reboot. Instead, they try something different. Uh, I watched this without having seen the first Hatchet film, which, of course, now I want to go back and check out. And I will, and I'll review it and put it on here. But, um, I, I was able to understand what was going on. It's not like Inception here, people. There's a guy with a hatchet killing people. Um, you know, I get who the characters are. They flash back and tell you about stuff. So, uh, you don't have to see the original, but I'm sure my horror fans on here will tell you watch the original and then watch this one. I just sort of did it ass backwards, because that's just how I roll.
As I usually say on here, the acting is okay for what it is. You know, you're not looking to be the next King's Speech here, which I commend. Thank God, that would be a little odd, wouldn't it? You know? Oh, hello, Victor Crawley. Would you like to sit down and work on your vowels? But <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'll be awaiting my award. But, uh... Uh, Daniel Harris, I thought, does a pretty good job. And she replaces Tamara Feldman for some reason. I guess she didn't want to come back or something to play Mary Beth. Uh, Daniel Harris is more uh, well-known than her, so I don't know what her problem is. But uh, anyway, um, it's, is Hatchet 2 the best horror film out there? That's a matter of opinion. I say no. But, uh, no. But it is 85 minutes of pure fun. And if you're a fan of blood, guts, and gore, Hatchet 2 is your answer. Therefore, the A-list gives the film Hatchet 2 the rating of Do It. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, if you're a fan of this type of movie, check it out. If you're not... If you get f faint at the sight of a little prick of your finger, do not watch this movie. <laughs> I can't warn you. <laughs> anyway, you can if you want to check out Hatchet 2, it's available on Skinamax. I think, as I point to my TV where I watched it last night, um, and I think you can get it through Netflix, and of course, at a DVD store near you. So, peeps, the A-list will be up later today, and for all my horror fans out there who've been waiting... Horror Mania begins on Monday. In case you don't know what that is, I take a look two or three times a week at a horror film, classic or new, and I review it. So, Horror Mania 2 begins on Monday. So, peeps, until then, don't miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube and check out some of my other videos. You can like me on Facebook, follow me on the Twitter, and of course you can check out this review and every review at RottenTomatoes.com. So peeps, until next time, Troop 